Welcome back to Golden Grizzlies Weekly, everyone. My name is Neil Rule. In what's become a yearly tradition, the men's and women's swimming and diving team won yet another league title in Milwaukee. The effort was highlighted by individual wins by Jordan Merrilies and Patricia Ashan and a diving title by Trisha Grant, as the Golden Grizzlies currently own four of the nine Horizon League titles. Paul Rice and the track and field team would be down in Youngstown as they also competed in the Horizon League championships. It was a Metro Series sweep for the track and field team as the women finished third and the men finished fifth, highlighted by titles from Serena San Cartier, Sammy Mondry, Gino Fatella, and David Caponin. It was senior night in the arena on Wednesday night for the men's basketball team as they played host to the Penguins of Youngstown State. Kay Felder will record a double-double with 20 points and 14 assists in the 82-71 win. The Golden Grizzlies would wrap up regular season Horizon League play in Wisconsin as they fell to the Green Bay Phoenix 83-63. Corey Petros and Kay Felder would pump in 17 points apiece, but it would not be enough in the loss. The women's basketball team was back in action at the arena as they played host to the league-leading Green Bay Phoenix. Olivia Nash would score 16 points, but the Golden Grizzlies would fall 70-55. to Oakland would conclude the week with a trip to the Windy City, where they fell to the UIC Flames 64-54, despite Nola Anderson's 22 points. Down in the sunshine state of Florida, Connie Miner and the softball team had a winning week. They swept a doubleheader on the 27th with wins over Radford by a score of 12-3 and Rhode Island by a score of 10-0. The Golden Grizzlies would fall on Sunday, however, to Middle Tennessee State by a score of 9-6 in eight innings. Keeping it in the Sunshine State, the tennis team picked up their first win of the season. After sweeping the singles matches, they would defeat Davenport, who is a nationally ranked NAIA team, by a score of 8-1. The team would finish their Florida swing as they dropped matches to Bethune-Cookman, Stetson, and Florida Atlantic. The women's golf team was out west as they competed in a pair of tournaments in Arizona. Alyssa Albright, 73, would highlight the action in the GCU Invitational. Mariana Stepp would fire a final round 73 as the Golden Grizzlies completed play in the Red Rocks Invitational. Also out in the desert last week, the baseball team took on the Arizona Wildcats where they dropped a pair of contests by a score of 10-7 and 13-0. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the top three plays of the week. At number three, Trisha Grant wins Diver of the Meet at the Horizon League Championships. And at number two, head swimming coach Pete Hovlin, not much on the form, but sticks the landing as the Golden Grizzlies win the Horizon League Swimming and Diving Championships. And at number one, Kay Felder crosses over Bobby Hain and drives and scores in the win over Youngstown State on senior night. Fans, don't forget you can follow the Golden Grizzlies on social media on the Twitter handle at Golden Grizzlies with the hashtag Where the Bear. Everybody loves the Instagram at Golden underscore Grizzlies. And don't forget about Facebook, facebook.com slash Golden Grizzlies. That'll do it for this week's edition of Golden Grizzlies Weekly. Thank you for watching, everybody. My name is Neil Rule. Well, see you later.